What's up buds, how's it hanging? I'm Greg and today we're going to be continuing our Nexomon journey. I think we're supposed to be heading back to the guild, so that's what we're going to do. So, without further ado, let's uh, do this! Found an unregistered warp stone. Activating warp stone. Warp stone activated! Alright, let's go back to Purim City and head towards the guild. Let's do it. I think I'm gonna focus on side quests off camera. I think I'm only gonna do main quests uh, during the Let's Plays. Well done, Poots. I expected nothing less from you. This is your reward for successfully protecting your client. We got 500 coins, a perfect berry, a blazing shard, and an ocean shard. Nice! It's not much, but you'll get far more interesting things as you take on harder quests. Can we talk about, you know, the thing that tried to eat us? Fine. I suppose that you've earned a lesson about the tyrants. Whoa. They look cool. They remind me of the tailed beast from Naruto. Poots. As we speak, the Nexomon of our world are waging a war amongst themselves. They are trying to replace the previous king of monsters, Omnicron, a powerful creature that was slain millennia ago. For centuries, almost every Nexomon has been competing to be acknowledged as the new king. See? Such is the reason our world is so miserable. We're caught in the middle of a ridiculous power struggle among monsters. Hold on. A thousand years? How come they haven't found a new king yet? What's taking so long? That's the thing. Nobody knows, and at this rate, humans might not survive to see the end of this war. However, a breed of exceptional Nexomon has started to appear in the recent decades. We call them Tyrants. In many ways, their power and intelligence resemble Omnicrons, even if just a little. Nibilus is one of them. These Tyrants are an ill omen. It's likely that one of those psychotic beasts will eventually become the new king. Okay, okay. So there's just a giant monster war going on. That's the gist of it. Savage Nexomon annihilating each other, crushing hopeless humans in the process. Don't be concerned about such matters just yet, Poots. I have a very important job for you, so please focus. Me. Hello, Poots. I have a rather pressing request. Hey, what's up? I'll get to the point. The orphanage is under attack. What? Why? Their intentions don't matter, lad. They must be stopped either way. This may be a dangerous mission. You'll need to team up with both Ross and Nora. There shouldn't be any issues if the three of you work together. The orphanage has been taken over by mysterious bandits. You must team up with Ross and Nora. Meet with Ross and Nora at the orphanage to the west of the capital. Alright, sounds like a plan. Please take a moment to prepare yourselves. There's a healing center and a general store in the city, remember? Once you're ready, head to the west back to the orphanage. We're counting on you, kid. Ross and Nora are waiting outside. Alright, sounds like a bunch of side quests just opened up, but like I said, I think I'm gonna save them for off camera. So let's go meet up with Ross and Nora. Said they were outside the city, right? Where'd he at? They're already at the orphanage? Oh, look at this guy. I don't remember him. He looks pretty cool. He's a tailed beast. Avoid the shaky bushes. What's up, guys? What's the point of sending all four of us? I can handle it by myself. And why is Coco here? Poots is a mute. Do you really want him negotiating with kidnappers? <laughs> Alright. Negotiate? Don't make me laugh. I'm just gonna knock down the front door and beat him up. Calm down. Our priority is to get the hostages out. We also need to figure out their intentions. Attacking an orphanage doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let's hurry up then. This could be our promotion to Silver Tamers. Which way are we going, guys? Into the orphanage? Aight. 
butt shall be kicked. What's going on here? It's alright, they got a Super Saiyan with them. With a mask. Hmm. No, it's not you. What about you? Nah, wrong kid. Ugh, curses! You're not the right one either. I can't believe my luck. We're running out of time. My lord will not be pleased. Who, who goes there? Dang. <laughs> hey, a guild tamer? So they're already on their way. What is the tisk noise? <laughs> Something like that? Whoa, I gotta fight a weird looking tree? Oh, I don't have a reliable fire uh, next on mine yet. So, um, Griff's normal and I think he's about to evolve. So let's go with Griff. See if he can stand a chance. Palm Fury! Yeah, you palm that tree in the face. Wait, it missed, but it still stunned it? Let's Plasma Cannon it. He did. Whoa! <laughs> it looks like a marshmallow ghost. I like it. Do I have a Paralyze heal? I do. Alright, let's heal Mascat's Paralyze. Will Palm Fury hurt it? But it's not effective, okay. Let's bring Mascat out. Cyburst! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Whoa! It's a crab demon! It's water. Bring out Cheerant. Yeah, it bit me with blue teeth. Electric storm. Take thunder. I won the battle. You saved us. You saved us. That was amazing. Yeah. Hey, those guys are looking for a specific kid. You gotta stop them. A specific kid? That's strange. We should find them before they do. Alright, let's look for the specific kid. Hmm. It seems like there are still some hostages around here. Let's keep looking. Good adventurers go left. Appears to be locked. Okay. We got more? What's up, Nora? Alright, we've got them cornered now. The guild tamers are here! We gotta run! Hold on, we still need the target. We can do this. We are so close. Whoa! Pongo! That was a good movie. Strange movie, but a good movie. Studio Ghibli. Can never go wrong. Time to bring out Croncho. <laughs> it did two damage with a critical attack. Boom! Whoa! It's like Butterfree on steroids. And it's electric type. I still don't have anything good against electric. Um, we'll just bring Cheering out. Gotta do some heals. We'll do the HP and stamina. Are they all thunder? Yeah, it's all electric. Um, let's go with the strongest one then. It's gonna take two more attacks no matter what, so Pulse Storm. And Electric Storm. Nice! We've seen this guy before. He's pretty cool though. He's a goose. Hit it with the... Hit it with the side burst! Nobody can handle my mascot. Good job, Nora. Hmm, that's pretty strange, isn't it? They were searching for a particular kid. Just what's going on? Anyway, I should take these children outside first. 
Good job, Poots. See you soon. Hmm. It seems like there are still some hostages around here. Let's keep looking. Head back downstairs. And now we go right. Come here, coward. You can't just break into my home like that. G get off me, stupid kid. You're wasting my time. I have to find the target for my lord. Then fight me. Come on. <laughs> Such intimidating villains. Oh, come on. Are you afraid of a bronze tamer? Another guild tamer. We've got you now. All right, let's kick his butt. He's a rock type, so Croncho comes out. Ah, uh, he horn drilled me. Bam. Croncho is OP, man. I need to heal. I used it on the wrong one. Dang it. I not dumb dumb. Restore the HP. Now I beat you up. Another battle down. We saved the Weevil Kid. Wow! You saved us! Kill tamers are the best! Huh, <laughs> just doing my job. But yes, I am pretty amazing. Name's Ross, by the way. Remember it. Yeah, we know. You live with us. Get out of here before I smack you in the face. Oh, hey. I think we've rescued all the kids. Let's exit the building and report back. I can see you, Poots. You thought that you could fool my eyes. But I know what you're destined to do. And I will not allow it. Whoa. Trippy Red! No, you do not know me yet, but one day we shall meet face to face, and you will know exactly who I am. Fear me, Poots. Oh, I gotta walk around in the Trippy Red. Well done, all of you. I can tell that you're on the path to becoming excellent tamers. No point in walking all the way back to the city. We got 500 corns corns. 500 coins, a wind nexo trap, and a plant nexo trap. Sir, they were looking for a specific child. Right. And do you know who their target was? Maybe, maybe it was Poots. Whoa there, what gives? Who would want to kidnap someone as boring as Poots? It's just a guess, but I had them cornered. They were losing and about to run away until Poots came to assist me, see? Only then did they choose to stay and fight, just as they saw Poots, the one orphan who wasn't in the building at the time. But he's so boring. Oh, shut up, Ross. <laughs> Nora, go with Ross and report all of this to Amelie. I must speak with Poots. Ugh. I swear for every brain cell Ross is missing, Nora has twice as many. Yes, she's right. You were meant to be kidnapped by those bandits. I fear that the wheel of fate is turning much faster than I had hoped. Come with me, Poots. It's time for you to get some answers. Oh, what's going on with Poots? Poots, surely you don't hold tyrants in high regard, do you? Say. What if I told you that there might be a good tyrant, one that is actually worthy of becoming the king of monsters? There must be one. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. There are stories of one such creature. One whose eyes are not clouded by madness, nor their heart tampered by hatred. Quite amusing, right? The so-called tyrant of light. Many, many tamers have spent a lifetime searching for this good tyrant, 
your parents among them. Now, where did I put that thing? Aha! Here you go. It's just a tad dusty. You received a tyrant relic. Nay, your parents never found the tyrant. However, they did make an unprecedented discovery, or so I'm told. This relic, it allegedly belongs to the Tyrant of Light. I don't know whether that's true or not, but if those bandits came all the way here to kidnap you, the artifact that you were to inherit must be the reason. You can do whatever you want with it. It's not your duty to search for a creature that may not even exist to begin with. I want to search! Is that so? Alright, Poots. I will help you find this Tyrant if that's what you want. I don't know much about the artifact, but I know how to learn more. Follow me. I will put you in the right direction, kid. That's interesting. Where are we going, Mentor? Over here. Come on, kids. You need to catch up. Are you guys really looking for a good tyrant? Seriously? There's no way something like that exists. You know that, right? We could be doing quests and stuff instead. Nah. I'm just gonna continue on with the main story, Coco. Stay safe, kids. Those kidnappers are but one of the countless dangers that lurk in this world. A myriad of terrible things will surely come after you, one after another, after another. You're not very good at working with children. Hoo! Where do you think you're going, mate? Haven't you heard? There's a spooky ghost down the road. Sorry, but you ain't ready for something so creepy, buddy. I beg to differ. Go, Griff! It's running out of stamina, though. Plasma Cannon! Alright, so we gotta do some heals. Go ahead and heal his HP. Uh, heal up some stamina. Then we gotta heal HP again. Uh, we need to get us a rock type too. Griff's about to get taken down. I gotta just switch him out. Um, we'll just use Cheerant. Should be able to at least take one more hit, so. Electric Force! Heal up some stamina. I really should have stopped at the store like Amelie suggested. Bloom ba doom ba doom ba dee doo. I've got electric coming for you. You beat me? Just like that? Ugh. Alright. Alright. Do whatever you want, pal. I'll avoid side quests like the plague. Are you en route to the Immortal Citadel? It is a popular spot for sure. Quite a few tamers go there to catch ghost type and psychic type Nexomon. Want to check out mine? They're superb. Sure, I'll take it. Ah, creepy! Can Mirren take this one down? I have faith in you, Mirren. Not effective. Not effective. Should be able to take it down though, I think. Um, we'll just double slash it again. This one's psychic. Um, bring out Croncho. Double slash. Water blast. Whoa. Now that's modeled off a dung beetle. At least it has a boulder and not like a giant pile of poo. This should be an easy win. One hit KO. Oh. I think that's an evolution of something we've seen earlier. It's a psychic type. I'll weaken it with Croncho and try to take it down with something that uh I want to see evolve. So hit it one more time. Heal up whatever I want to use, which is Griff. Demotivated, nice. Send out Griff. Nice! And Griff for the win! Nice job, Griff. Oof! I knew you were strong. If you were into ghost and psychic type Nexomon, 
You gotta follow this road. Stay safe. Let's see if there's a uh, any new Nexomon around here. Get some heals real quick. I really should probably head back to the city and buy some more stuff. I need some stamina potions for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the city real quick and get some potions. Warp stone! There for like a half a second, I forgot and I was literally about to run back. I'd have been mad at myself. Alright, potions, stamina potion. I don't think I need any revives or anything. Uh, how many do I have? I have, I have three. We'll buy 17. And I have none of these, so... We'll go ahead and stock well up on stamina potions. Everything else should be fine. Oh, I don't have any Nexo traps. I'm glad I noticed that. Uh, we'll get 10 of them. Alright, we're good. Thanks, dude. Even though you're racist against cats. Hope you work on that. Let's go see if we can get some new Nexo on. Maybe we can get a, a fire type. Shaky bush. No, oh, what the hell? It looks so derpy. Let's try to straight up catch it. Come on. Give it to me. Alright, let's damage it a little bit. Try to catch it once more. And we got it. Alright. Congratulations! You caught Poil, an adorable Nexomon dressed as a sailor. Always ready for action and extremely loyal. Let's see what else awaits. Oh, whoa, that's weird looking. It's like Doduo, but it's a log. I'll just go ahead and try to weaken it first. Uh, we'll just wind pellet it. I actually do have a plant in Exo Trap, so let's do it. Do we got it? Oh, he escaped. It could probably take one more hit. Um, wind pellet again. This should do it. Yes! Got him. Congratulations! You caught Shunporo. You might venture through the forest without even noticing this Nexomon. It prefers dark corners and a thick foliage where it can grow and feed. Oh, Mirren's evolving! Oh, I love it. I love it. I like it more than my main. <laughs> to me, that looks way cooler than Mascat. I wonder if it gets another evolution. Alright. And done. Alright guys, I know it's a random spot to end the episode, but I unfortunately have to go to work like everybody does, so... Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and do you. Peace Nuggets. Mm -hmm.